It's genuinely the amazing world of Agatha Christie, but not in a way that you will have necessarily seen. To me, it's very different. It's almost like a one-off of hers, I feel. I really liked the fact that it was a little more complex than it looked at first. Agatha Christie's fantastic at this, isn't she? It's sort of, at, at the same time as, you know, nearly defining the genre, often subverting it, and I think that's just really cool. She's peeling off the veneer of what people say to the world and what their existence is like in private. When I think of um, Agatha Christie, I don't necessarily think of the 60s, uh, so I think it feels a lot more modern. Um, it feels kind of a bit more uh, current. I think the show is kind of sexier and more sordid and maybe a bit darker than a usual whodunit. Sarah Phelps has written this version of The Pale Horse and it's very, there's something quite sort of tough about it and quite strong about it and very funny. She seems to be writing about a deeply bedded anxiety that sits within our social class structure. What drew me to the script was Sarah Phelps. I, I find, I've always wanted to work with her. I, I haven't met her, but I'm, I've been an admirer of her work for many years. I think she's an absolute genius. I think what it's got going for it is that it slightly breaks the mold in a way. It's a slightly different genre. It's spooky. It's a little bit, it's a really quite a scary read for me at least. And I think it's incredibly stylish. And I think it's quite witty and very surprising. It might be a little bit shocking, but not in a, in a way that you need to worry about. And I love that.